From the Daily Caller, environmentalists have declared that global warming can't be stopped without ending the, ready for this, hegemonic capitalist system, saying the cap-and-trade systems and conservation efforts are false solutions. How long? Years and years and years have I been saying the green movement is the old red movement? The new green is the old red. The structural causes of climate change are linked to the current capitalistic hegemonic system, reads the final draft of the Margarita Declaration. Oh, the Margarita Declaration. Margaritas for everybody. Presented at a conference including about 130 environmental groups, a.k.a. red groups. To combat climate change, it's necessary to change the system, the declaration adds. Environmental activists met in the oil-producing socialist country of Venezuela as part of a UN-backed event to increase civil engagement in the lead-up to a major climate conference. Climate conference that the United States is going to be involved in. These are the people who, who are trying to destroy our country, seriously, through the so-called environmental movement. There is no environmental movement. It's a pinko movement, may I say. But environmentalists surprise UN officials by offering up a declaration that not only seeks to end capitalism, but also opposes UN-backed efforts to fight global warming, namely cap-and-trade and forest conservation programs. Climate change news analyst site RTCC reports that it's unclear which group signed on to the declaration, adding that it runs in the face of the green economy solutions to global warming backed by rich nations. Oh, there seems to be a fight. I guess the Trotskyites are fighting the Leninists or fighting the Stalinists. But many poor countries like Venezuela do not support a green economy solution to global warming. Of course, because they can't even find toilet paper anymore. Instead, they're arguing rich countries should give poor nations cash and technology transfers. Of course we should. Of course we should. Just because these little commie third world banana republics destroy their own countries. I mean, Venezuela used to be a rich country, and why wouldn't it be? It has oil. But then along came Hugo, Hugo Chavez, the colonel in the army, and he overthrew the government, just like his friend Fidel, just like their friends in Bolivia, just like their friends in Nicaragua, Jorge Ramos, correct? Rejection of cap-and-trade and forest conservation programs also fly in the face of U.S. and European environmental groups, which back programs to limit and price carbon dioxide emissions. See, what's happening here, folks, is they're trying to keep the real mouthpieces in the movement quiet. Don't tell everybody what we're really up to. Cap-and-trade, cap-and-schmade, schmade and cap, it doesn't matter. We got to go through all these levels and bureaucracies and put these names out there, don't you see? We can't say... Uh, we're here to steal your property. Shh, don't, no, no, no. We hate capital. Sh- shut up. Shut up, Venezuela. Be quiet. We know we do. In the U.S. environmentalists rally behind the EPA's proposals to cut carbon dioxide emissions from new and existing power plants, a plan that would force the shutdown of coal-fired power plants. Yes. Yes. Shut down the coal-fired power plants. Shut down the coal mines. Put tens of thousands of hardworking men and women out of business. Yes, shut down the coal mines. 250 years of energy. Shut them down. We can't have that. Climate disruption is the greatest challenge facing our generation. Now it's climate disruption. Can't these fools get their language straight? Let me write this down. Let's see, global cooling. We have a global warming. I'm writing this down. Then we have climate change, and now, let's see, climate disruption. Let's see, climate disruption. All of that equals weather. Okay, there we go. I got to get all this straight. Why don't these commies, I mean uh, greenies, why don't they just put out a book and tell us? It's getting confusing. Climate disruption is the greatest challenge facing our... Just listen to these Climate disruption. This is from Mike Brune, the director of the Sierra Club. Absolute clown. Climate disruption. So which climate are we disrupting? I don't even know. How do you... What are they talking about? How are we disrupting it? It's like climate is static. And so if you have a particularly hot day, we're disrupting the climate. Or a particularly cold day. Or more rain than normal. Or less rain than normal. Or what's normal? I don't know. It's like the middle class. What's the middle class? I don't know. 
Until now, writes or says uh, Michael Brune, the director of the Sierra Club. Notice the names they get, the Sierra Club. Oh, it's so soothing, the Sierra Club. You know, like the 4-H Club, or the Gardening Club, you know, or the Cigar Club. It's not like the jackbooted Reds who are trying to destroy our country club. No, not that one. Until now, power plants have been allowed to dump unlimited amounts of carbon pollution into our air, driving dangerous climate disruption, fueling severe drought, wildfires, heat waves, and superstorms, none of which we've ever had. None of which we've ever had. Ever, ever, ever. And we know that's because of coal. Not the sun. Not sunburst. Not, can't be the sun. It's coal. Coal's doing it. And let me say this. Once we stop using coal, what will what'll be the problem? Well, that natural gas is a problem. Fracking. Oh, okay. Now what? Oil. Can you, no, no. Oil, that's a problem. You know, uh, uh, you know f- uh, we have droughts still and uh, this, this climate disruption. Uh, okay. All right. Great. The EPA's plan to cut emissions from power plants has been attacked by the coal industry and Republicans who say it will harm the U.S. economy without doing much to help the climate. Well, there is that. There is that, isn't there? The environmentalists who support the Margarita Declaration. The Margarita Declaration, the Sierra Club. Doesn't this sound like just sort of a drug-induced thing going on here, Mr. Producer? The Sierra Club, the Margarita Declaration, the climate disruption. Oy, oy, oy. May have also been pleased to hear that Australia repealed its two-year-old carbon tax, though Australia is still a free market economy. Australia's conservative coalition government has been bucking the so-called climate consensus since their electoral wins last fall. Not only did Australia send no high-level diplomats to the last UN climate conference, but they also plan to cut global warming and green energy programs by 90% over the next four years. Wow. You know how Obama likes to say, we're the only industrial country that doesn't, always pointing to France, you know, or something like that. Well, there's a free country, Australia. Why doesn't he point to Australia and say we ought to copy their policies? Well, we know why. Because Obama's a greenie, a.k.a. an old red. 